In this video, the doctor or MRP discusses the diagnosis, prognosis, symptom management measures with patient, explains the steps to assess medical assistance in dying at UHN, refers the patient in distress to the supportive care team for psychological support. Hi, Mr. Chu. As we discussed before, um, the cancer has now spread to the lungs. Under these circumstances, the cancer is no longer curable. That doesn't mean that there is nothing we can do for you. There's lots of treatment that we can still provide for you. Palliative chemotherapy, radiation, palliative care. The goals of care would be to keep the disease under control for as long as possible, keep you well for as long as possible, deal with symptoms, and maybe buy a little more time. The type of treatment that we recommend and undertake together in part depend on your wishes and your preferences in terms of how much side effects you're prepared to accept. It's important for us to have a conversation about your wishes and your goals of care. I want to be comfortable. Treatment last year was hard. I never want to go through that again. Mm -hmm. I still haven't recovered. I've never been the same. I can't sleep anymore. I'm always tired. My pain is terrible. <coughs> <coughs> and I'm always coughing. Mm -hmm. I don't want more time like this. How much longer will this go on? We're not very good at predicting life expectancies. However, I think it's fair to say in general terms, with this type of cancer, when it is spread, life expectancy is in the order of about six months. If you do decide to take chemotherapy and you respond well to it, perhaps longer, in the order of about a year. No, that is too long. I'm going to die anyway. My wife is sick too, and she doesn't need me to be a burden. My children need to take care of her. Mm -hmm. I want to be done with this. Just get it over. What should I do to get it done? Mr. Chu, are you asking me for assistance to end your life? Yes, today. Mm. Otherwise, I'll kill myself. How long have you been thinking about this? I've had suicide in my mind since I was first diagnosed. My son had schizophrenia, and he committed suicide. I can finally understand why. Well, Mr. Chu, for patients who have expressed a desire to end their life, we actually have a standardized process for this. It's called medical assistance in dying or MAID. In general terms, there is a three-step process. First, you have to complete a form and submit it in writing. Um, we need to know for sure that that's what y that you want. Um, and then we'll introduce you to our assessment team. They are the ones that talk to you, understand your circumstances, and, and make the decision as to whether you're eligible for uh, MAID. Um, if they decide that's the case, then you'll be introduced to the intervention team, um, and they will t discuss with you and walk you through how the process is done. So how soon can I be assessed? Uh, what if they say no? Well, if they, if they say no, um, it is your right to ask for another group of doctors to make repeat the assessment. Um, we could ask for an urgent assessment. You want me to uh, start the process for you? Yes, as soon as possible. Mm. The process is not fast. There is uh, a built-in reflection period. We want to make sure that that's your wishes are consistent, and that's at least about a 10-day period. Um, okay. If that's what you want, I will bring you the form uh, so you can look through it. Ms. Chu, I'm also a little concerned about how quickly you jump into asking me this. Um, do you think have, you, you would want to kill yourself in the meantime? No, I think I can wait a bit, mm -hmm. especially if my pain and, and my breathing problem can be reduced. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. 
I think it's definitely important for us to refer you to the palliative care team. Um, they are experts in dealing with symptoms and help you cope with the circumstances. It's also important to introduce you th to the MAID supportive care team. They consist of palliative care physicians, social workers, and mental health experts. Um, they are particularly geared to looking after patients um, who have suffering so much that they have expressed a, a desire to end their life. And with your permission, I'll make a referral to them. Um, Mr. Chu, you have to remember that we're here for you. We'll continue to look after you. We'll do everything we can to make you comfortable. Um, but we'll definitely respect your wishes as well. Okay. Thank you.